Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's November the 21st and we're looking at the second part of the second chapter of Peter's first letter. So 1 Peter chapter 2 and the second part beginning at verse 13. In this passage Peter's very clear, he's giving instructions to the twelve tribes and he says this, he says submit yourselves unto every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as unto them that are sent for the punishment of evil doers and for the praise of men that do well <clears throat> now in this passage I think that Peter has in mind first of all the king or the president or the prime minister he says we are to um, submit ourselves to every ordinance of man why? because these men are raised up by the Lord to bring order into all civilization they're not just uh, appointed by themselves or by other people they are appointed by the Lord it is the most high that rules in the kingdoms of men and he appoints over men whomsoever he will um, <clears throat> now the governors I think here are probably referring to judges these are the law givers these are the people who dispense the law of God in the nations and we, we, uh, we Christians and the Jews in this passage are su to submit ourselves unto every ordinance of men who, why? for the Lord's sake we are to do it because this is the will of God verse 15 that in well doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men and as free not using our liberty as a cloak of maliciousness but as servants of the Lord and verse 17 is my password it's honour all men love the brotherhood fear God and honour the king now I get very distressed when I see Christians on Facebook and on other mediums slagging off the president or slagging off the prime minister or slagging off a governor or a judge or a police chief or the police or the military why? because these men are there as the ministers of God to serve us in our civilized world without them our civilization would pretty much fall to pieces so they are they may not realize this they may be completely unaware of this but they are appointed by the Lord and they are therefore to be given the due respect for their office and for their ministry they are the ministers of God we are to honor all men we are to love the brotherhood now in this case Peter's thinking of the brotherhood of the twelve tribes of Israel every man within those tribes refers to every other man as a brother and all the women refer to each other as sisters this is true of course also of Christians because every man that is a Christian refers to every other man as his brother we are brethren and sisters in the Lord Jesus and then he says honour the king that doesn't mean to say that we have to fall to them that doesn't mean to say we have to suck up to them that doesn't mean to say that everything that they do we would agree with no but we still are subject to them we still are to give them the due respect and honour of their office in the second part Peter turns his attention to servants he says you servants are to be subject to your masters in everything and not only to those masters that are good and gentle but to those masters that are unkind and cruel and you are to submit yourselves unto the Lord and if you are wronged you commit that wrong to the Lord he will deal with the matter and he will fight your case 
on your behalf and Peter cites the Lord Jesus he says our Lord Jesus suffered he suffered he suffered injustice he suffered injustice and he committed his case to his father and so must we and so this is wonderful teaching Paul uh, Peter of course is referring to the twelve tribes of Israel but this is equally applicable and these things are taken up by the Apostle Paul and applied to all Christians we must change the way we think about those that God hath appointed to rule over us we're to give them honor we're to give them respect and we are to be subject unto every ordinance of man and when we do that they will praise God for how you live well God bless you look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow have a wonderful day bye for now